Hey everyone, in this video, I will showcase you a live demo video of ready to use white label grocery app solution Instacart Clone. It is a complete technology solution like Instacart in which you get Instacart like online grocery ordering website and application for customers, delivery agent application, multi vendor panel, and admin dashboard. In this video, I will be covering the customer ordering app and admin panel. To check live demo of dispatcher panel, check out the video in suggested video section. So let's begin with the admin panel. So here you can see the dashboard of admin panel, which will give you the 360 overview of a business operation, where you can see the pending orders, active orders, delivered orders, orders that are cancelled by the customers, number of vendor registered with you, categories, products, banner promotions, brands, returns requested. Below that you can see the AI graphical representation of revenue and sales. You can also filter it for yearly, weekly or monthly according to your needs and requirements. Below that you can also see revenue by location and orders of the top categories. Going below we can see order section. Here we have the pending orders. All the orders that are not yet accepted by the vendor are shown here. You have the active orders, the orders that are accepted but not yet been delivered and we have the order history. Then going ahead, we have vendors. Here you can see total number of vendors registered with us, open vendors, total products offered and total active orders. Below that you can see the complete database of the vendors. For example, the name, the status, what is their address, offers if there are any categories, commission percentage charged by you, products they are offering, orders received by them, active orders and you can also view a specific vendor by just clicking on this option and here you are redirected to a vendor's place where you can see its catalog, the configuration and categories and add-ons. Going ahead in the accounting section, we have orders, loyalty cards, promo codes, taxes and vendors. Under the orders section, you can see the total order value, total order placed by the customer, total cash to be collected total delivery fees. Below that you can filter it for a specific vendor also by just clicking on the select vendor or from the order status. Going ahead you can see different order status. So who was the customer name, who was the vendor, what was the subtotal amount, if they have applied any promo code or not, admin commission charged on them, admin commission percentage basis and going ahead you can see the final amount, payment method and order status. Same goes for the loyalty cards, here you can see the type of loyalty cards applied, total loyalty card earned, total loyalty card spent by them, if there is any unique order you can see from here and you can again filter it by the specific loyalty or by the payment method itself. Going ahead we have promo codes, here revenue generated from the promo codes are shown here like admin paid total, vendor paid total, promo code uses and unique users to use promo code. Below that you can also filter it by the order status like when it was placed, rejected, applied or for the specific coupon and you can also export the CSV file from here. Same goes for taxes, you can see the revenues and type of taxes applied and tax total tax collected from them. Now moving ahead to the vendor section, so here you can see the complete database of the revenue earned by the vendors, for example vendor name, uh, their order value what were the delivery fees they charged, admin commission on the order value, if they have used any promo code of the vendor, a promo code of the admin, cash collected from them, payment gateways, if they have used any online payment method and then the vendors earning. Going ahead we have the subscription, so subscription you can set it for both customers and vendors, so for the customers you can see, total subscribe users you can see here and total subscribe users percentage also you can see here, below that we have different plans that you are offering to the customers. For example here, you can also add a new plan just by clicking on the add plan option, upload the image and filling on the necessary credentials, you can add a new plan to it. Similarly for the vendors, also you can create a subscription plan, so here uh, you can also add a new plan accordingly. Now coming on to the customers, here you can see the complete database of the list of customers that are registered with you, like active customer count, inactive user count and social login count. So here you can see the bifurcation of different methods used by them to log into the your website. So here you can see this name, login type, their email address, phone number, 
OTP they receive for the verification, their status, and if you want to perform any action, so you can do it from here. If you want to give them access to any specific vendor, or you want to give them to any specific section, you can do it from here. Going ahead, you have the profile section. So here you can set your profile, like you can upload a new logo if you want to, a short code for the login. You can change your name from your email address, contact number, company's address, company's name, country in which is operating and the time zone accordingly. Now coming on to the customize section, here you can customize your application. So it can be the light theme or the dark theme, date or time format, localization, you can change different language accordingly or the currency you want to use. Then you can use the domain name, social media logins and nomenclature. Like if, what are, if you want to call your vendors with different name, you can just write here and click on the save option and the same will be reflected. Now coming on to the styling part, we give both app styling and web styling option. So I'll go with first app styling. So this helps you, you to improve your applications user interface. So you can use different font style provided from here. Similarly goes for the color and you have four different taskbar style. You can use any one of them and same will be uplet, uh, updated in the application itself. If, they, if you want to add any sign up tagline, you can do it from here. We have four different homepage style options. You can choose any one of them and click on the save option and it automatically gets saved. Similarly, we can go for the web styling too. Under the web styling, we have fab icon styling. If you want to change any color styling, these are the toggle buttons. If you want to show them the contactors, icon on navigation or hide the navigation bar, you can change the theme itself. You can change the style of the homepage. If you want to, we have two options out there. Going ahead with the content management system, we have pages, emails and notifications. So for example, under the pages, you can add different terms and conditions, privacy policy, and that will be updated in the application itself. Same goes for email. If you want to send a standard email, when a new vendor sign ups and when you have a verify mail address or refund or forget password, you can set it from here. And similarly for the notification also, if there's a new order, so what are the pop-up notification you want to send them? You can just send it from here. Now moving on to the catalog section, here you can add different kinds of categories you want to offer on your platform. By clicking on the add category option, you can add a new category to itself. So for example, the upload the category icon for the application for the uh, panel. So you can choose different fonts if you want to. We have provided with three different fonts out here. Then if you want to change the name, you can just do it from here and click on the submit button. A new category will be added automatically. Same goes for the variance section. And if you have partnered with different brands, you can also add different brands from here. You can just click on add brand option. You can upload the brand logo, uh, upload the banner and the category they, you want to assign to them and just click on the submit button and a new brand will be added and the same will be reflected in the customer application itself. Coming on to the configuration section, you can see hyper local. You can also enable them for the option, uh, last mile delivery option, on demand services, pickup and delivery. And if you have any social media logins, you can also add it here like Facebook, Twitter, Google, or uh, Apple IDs and all. Now coming on to the text section, you can add different categories. So coming on to the text section, you can add different taxes for the different categories. For example, by clicking on the add. So what is the text category title? What is its code and description and click on the submit button. A new text will be added to itself. And so while billing, the same will be reflected. We provide you with different payment options right now, like cash on delivery, PayPal, Stripe, Paystack, PayFast, Mobex. If you want to add any other payment methods, we can definitely do that too. Recently, I have made cash on delivery enable. Now coming on to the different marketing strategy like banners, this helps the admin to generate extra source of revenue. For example, we are providing you with different banners for the mobile application and for the website. So first one is for the website. So you can up add a new banner by just clicking on the add banner option. You can upload the banner image, its name, its start date, it ended and where it is assigned to its a specific category or for a specific vendor and click on the submit button. A new banner will be added. The same will be reflected over the website. Now, similarly for the mobile banners, so you can also add a different banner for the mobile application too. So click on the add banner and again, filling on the necessary credentials like mobile image, name, start and date and where it is assigned to and click on the submit button. A new banner will be added for the mobile application too. 
similarly we have the promo codes so you can add a new promo code by just clicking on the add promo code option and filling on the necessary credentials you can add a new promo code and that will be reflected the customers can use that promo codes to earn promo code points loyalty cards are very important marketing tool that helps to retain customer as we know 90% of the revenue are generated from the customers who are retained so you can add a new loyalty card for two by just clicking on the add option you can upload an image for that write the name of the loyalty card minimum points to reach this level description earnings per order and one loyalty card point is equals to any value you want to set and click on the submit button a new loyalty card will be added and the customers can avail the benefits of that so here we have the direct link to the website also by just clicking on this view website you are you directed to a new page where you can see the user interface of the website for the grocery application this is the home screen of the user application in the top right corner you have the search icon from where you can directly search for a specific product vendor or a particular item then you have the live banners that are currently being live on the platform itself then the customer are given two options that is the delivery or the takeaway option the customer can choose any one of them according to his needs and requirements below that there are the categories being offered on the platform itself then we have the top vendors near you that are based on the ratings and review given by the customer moving ahead we have the cart section all the products added by the customer are shown in the cart section then we have the account section where you have the links settings contact us option or uh, then the login now i'll show you how a customer can easily log into the application and place an order for himself so i'll just create a new account so i'll just create a name email address which will be used for login later on then the phone number so i'll just create a password for myself like and then if i have any referral code i can use that and i'll just sign up so yeah you can see a customer can easily sign up now now i can see the variety of when uh, categories and then the vendors i'll just go for a mini cart i'll book a coffee i'll just click on add option just one cup of coffee you can see the description of the coffee uh, coffee there then you can go add cart add to cart now you can see like the product is successfully added to the cart from here you can see the price breakout and now you can add a tip if you want to add a tip if you have any promo code you can apply a promo code too or if you want to give any specific instructions for the restaurant for a coffee you can add that too we have the space to add that i just like uh, less milk the same will be shown to the vendor itself i'll just go cash on delivery and i can just go for now and i i can schedule an order too so i'll just go for now and place the order so now it will be redirected to a page where it will ask you to select an address so i don't have it's a new account so i'll just add a new address so you can use a current location right here it will automatically pick up the address and click on the save address the address will be automatically get saved now click on the place order your order has been successfully placed and if you want to see details about it you can just click on the view details and here you can see the complete details of the order for example the order its delivery fee total amount you need to pay what was the payment method when it was placed on so yeah and like i placed an order for a coffee now you can see on the admin panel on the order section you can see in the pending orders being an admin you have the power to accept or reject the order i'll just click on accept order and sure and the order will be automatically moved to the active section the same will be shown in the vendor application so this is how an entire flow of the instacart clone looks like if you are planning to build your own grocery ordering and delivery management app like instacart download a free business plan template revenue generation plan to start online grocery business and the latest market research report from the link given below in the description